So for the let's start with the numbers. Um, food logistics will be even more international than ever this year. We have 2,610 exhibitors from 92 countries. This means there are more countries than even before. The In person, um, we were online. Uh, well, we were, we were kind of online for a couple of years. We're back in, in person again, having uh, done the event in April uh, uh, last year. We're back to the, the dates that we've always had at Fruit Logistica. Tell us some of the, um, uh, the things that have happened, or the, the things that you expect uh, uh, to happen. First of all, we see uh, everyone's relief that we are back to the original date, back to February, back to the yeah, back to normal, you could say. We have the normal halls, we have the normal date, we have the normal exhibitors. So I think normal is more or less a new extraordinary. So last year was extraordinary because it was different, uh, but it took place. And this year it's extraordinary because we are back to a food logistica how it used to be, how it should be. And um, that's already great. And um, I think this feeling you could see already in advance when we spoke to the exhibitors, when you have a look into uh, social media, um, it's good to be back. Like always, and as you said in the beginning, we have the welcome reception, uh, a networking event like Food Logistica, which is part of Food Logistica, and that's why everyone is coming here to network, to meet in person. And, and we're, we're back, uh, Food Logistica is back not just in, in Berlin, but also in, in Hong Kong. Indeed. There we had also, like we had in Berlin, the situation that we have a special solution in April, the same referred to Asia Food Logistica, so they will also return to the normal date in September and also to the previous location, meaning back to Hong Kong. Um, you um, mentioned about this question of, of everything coming back to normal. You talked about the figures, uh, the 2,000... Um, uh, 2,610 10 exhibitors from 92 countries and the... Uh, the visitors from 140 different countries. Um, can we look a little bit about the uh, who these people are and where they're from? Tell us something about that. So we have exhibitors again from every continent, um, but we realize that out of this 92 countries we have, about 40 countries even increase their total space compared to before the pandemic. So for 40 countries, and among them, is especially the, the biggest one, the Spanish participation, which is now bigger than 2020. Yeah. So, so that would mean, that's the, is that the biggest Spanish participation we've ever had? The biggest uh, participation from Spain we ever had. So they're occupying four halls with about 11,000 square meters. Um, well, that that's of course uh, shows the, the importance also, I think, of the Spanish as export nation. Uh, for fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. and, and this, uh, I, I should have also mentioned, and I didn't, but this is in the 30th anniversary year of, uh, of Fruit Logistica. Yeah. We're taking place for the 30th time, so we started in 1993, and well, we'll have, well, we will have, we'll celebrate it tonight a little bit, but our focus is, of course, the future. We look into the future, not to the past, as trade fair. I think we're interested in celebrating the future, getting new ideas. Um, so today we will celebrate the 30, but it's not the main topic of this trade fair. It's the products and the exhibitors. There are so many crises, different crises. I think this uh, industry is used to handle crises. They, they have uh, usual regional crises, so there might be a bad harvest or a strike of dock workers. But this time we have a multiple crisis, and not only a regional, but a global one. So, at this global fair, I think we still have some answers for them. And what I really, um, so I'm also kind of new to this industry, but I saw already that they are, uh, are very resilient when it comes to crisis. They find solutions and still they are, according to my impression, they are very optimistic looking for solutions. And I think we have offers for the different things, irrigation systems, smart agri, First of Logistica, we worked at our hall layout, so uh, for the first time we have our segment machinery and technology, which is the biggest part behind the fresh produce part. They will be at the sounds, uh, south entrance at level one. We will have six halls very close together, directly at the entrance, where we have the machinery and technology, including smart agri, greenhouse technology, the tech ups, uh, the, the startup stage, the tech stage, 
So there's a very compact um, area now, while the fresh produce is now exclusively on the upper floor. So we have mixed a little bit the years before, and now we have a, um, yeah, a very good system, I think, for the trade visitors to find what they're looking for. And so the fresh produce exhibitors from the floor one move to the city cube among the Turkey, but also Middle East and um, North Africa. So I think that we have there a good combination and um, attract, uh, attractive uh, exhibitors. In addition, we will have a free break, uh, a free welcome coffee over there for those visitors who arrive early at the trade fair. One hour between eight and nine, we offer free coffee to them. They can start a kind of early bird networking just before the fair starts.